They cleaned the microphone, they spaced everyone out. It was March the 7th this year, and they were incensed about the 1% pay rise in the NHS. I think it's outrageous that somehow this is deemed illegal. Karen, the organiser, even wrapped things up when the police in Manchester told her to. As I was leaving, a police officer called me to one side and said, can I have a quiet word? I want to give you a £10,000 fixed penalty notice. Karen will not pay and is taking it to a judicial review. Somebody calculated for me that if I used my 1% pay rise to pay it, it would take me 56 years of that 1% to pay that fine off. Stay there! Stay there! Stay there. Whether the police have been breaking up parties... You shouldn't be here. No, you shouldn't, shouldn't be here. here. You shouldn't be. So why are you here? Because we've been bored and we want to have fun. Or just challenging people who've been out and about. Everyone has had to try and keep up with the rules. In the past 12 months, the COVID regulations have been changed at least 65 times in England. More than 85,000 fixed penalty notices have been issued since March last year. Of those cases that reached court, the Crown Prosecution Service found that just over one in four had been incorrectly charged. Now the Joint Committee on Human Rights has said the COVID fines have been muddled, discriminatory and unfair. What we're saying to the government is that they should allow all of those 85,000 fixed penalty notices. If somebody thinks it was unfair, they should now put in force regulations which say you can challenge it. While acknowledging the police have had a very difficult job, the committee concluded that young people, particularly from ethnic minorities, have been most often the ones fined. So people of my age don't really care. They will be fine, they will pay it. And if they want to party again, they will do it. I think no one really knows, like, what do you get fined, like, how many is it? Because there's just so many, like, different things you hear. Yeah, and, like, if it's under, like, 15 people or something in the room, yeah, it's, it's a different like, amount. 200 instead yeah. of 800. I honestly don't know what... I get you should be punished, but if you try just... If you find a student 10 grand, that's their life, like, messed up for a while. So I don't really think the fines are reasonable half the time. Where COVID fines have been incorrectly issued, police leaders say they will work to rectify the mistakes while still enforcing the rules when they need to do so. Tom Parmenter, Sky News, Manchester.